Good times, bad times. A bit of a ramble and a rant. I've been happily holed up at home for the last several days, and today I decided to venture out into a misty, drizzly, unpleasant, cold afternoon. On the way out, I checked my mailbox and found I had some parcels, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Then I went on and decided to go to the drugstore, my local CVS, and pick up a few items I was needing, or felt I was needing. When I came to the checkout counter, they asked for my little card. You know, they give you these little cards you can put on your key ring instead of a big kind of club card. So I handed her my whole key ring and let her sift through all the little cards to find the CVS one, which she did. And then she rang up my purchase. I paid with my debit card, which I had to fish out of another pocket with, from my wallet. Finalized my, uh, my purchase. Put my debit card back in my wallet, wallet back in my pocket. She, bashed, you know, gave me my bag full of purchases and a receipt, which, uh, when you use your card, they give you this receipt a mile long. Instead of applying any discounts to your purchase, they give you a receipt full of coupons as long, as tall as a small child. I would say a child of about eight or nine years old. And she goes, oh, you've got four dollars off on your, on your next purchase, among other coupons on here. That is, if I decide to, like, take all this crap back to the store with me next time I go, or rip out the coupon and put it in my wallet or something. I hate messing with that stuff. Why can't they just discount it from your, your purchase on your card? They're scanning it into their system. It's all computerized. Anyway, that's my peeve with CVS. So I left, and then I went to the deli. I thought, I'm, I'm going to buy a sandwich at the deli counter. So I got an egg over easy with tomato on a toasted buttered roll, which I like. And um, extra salt, please. Salt and pepper, extra salt. So I get that, some apple juice. I get home, I can't find my house keys. I go through all my pockets. I'm wearing layer upon layer in this winter weather. I go through every layer pocket I can find because, you know, as we get older, we tend to forget things. I thought, well, maybe I shoved it in the wrong pocket. Couldn't find it anywhere. Luckily for me, I carry a spare set of keys in my left hand pants pocket. So I use those to get in. I got upstairs, you know, to my, my apartment, got in, and I thought, well, you know, maybe maybe it's somewhere deeper in one of those pockets. There's so much cap, crap I carry in my pockets. I went through all of them very carefully and thought, I, don't, I can't find it anywhere. Where did I leave this? I thought, well, maybe in my rush to get all the stuff out of the mailbox, all my parcels and mail, maybe I left it in the, in the door of my mailbox. So I go downstairs again. I look at the mailbox. It's not there. So where else could I have left this? Then I remember scanning that stupid little card at the CVS. So, well, possibly did I leave it on the counter? Not, not collect it and put it back in my pocket? Surely the cashier would have said, oh, here's your keys, or called after me, you left your keys. No. 
So I go back to the store and say, did I leave my keys here? I can't find them. I've lost them. And she's very disgruntled, this sort of like heavy set woman with these sort of thuggish style tattoos all over her. Not great tattoos. I like tattoos, but these look really, you know, like prison tattoos or something. She's a real tough gal. And I think she, she could care less whether I had my keys or not. She's also probably making minimum wage. She calls over to her managerial assistant and says, Dude, did you have their keys in that lockbox? You know. So she checks the lost and found lockbox. Can you identify your keys? I said, well, they had a whistle on the key ring with ch paint chipped off. Is this it? Yes. So I got my keys back. Well, I'm glad I got them back, but, you know, make me walk back there on a second trip in the damp, dark, nasty weather to get my keys when they couldn't have just... They're all standing around there with nothing to do. They got, like, a, a, a welcome greeter there that's, like, does nothing but block the way up and down the stairs and say, Hello, welcome to CVS. I don't know. I was exasperated and ticked off by the whole thing. But at least I got my keys back. Thank goodness I had a spare set. But it had all the little cards on it, all my little discount cards for places, including my card that checks me in at the senior center when I go. They scan me in for my writing class and other activities there, yoga class. So anyway, that's that. In the mailbox, I got some nice little things. I um, Before Christmas, I showed you I had ordered a uh, pendulum and a pendulum board. And I wasn't ultimately entirely happy with the shape of this pendulum. I had seen nicer ones online at Glastonbury, but I wanted it by Christmas, and I thought, it'll never make it by Christmas. I ran too late. So I ordered it from some outfit in California. It did show up on time, but mm, I like wood, but I'm not thrilled with the shape of this one. It's a little bit bul on the bulbous side. So I went back online, Glastonbury Mystical, and ordered from them. And I like this one much better. I love the shape of this. It's sort of like a little top or something. I don't know what kind of wood it is. I don't think it says. Oh, it says pear wood, whatever that means. I'm not sure what the significance of pear wood is. The planet is Mars, or maybe that's just the name of this model. Uh, doesn't say anything in the package about this specific one, other than that. But we'll see whether this does any better for me than the other one that I had ordered. The other one's a little heavier and a little bit larger, but I just kind of like the aesthetic appeal of this one more than this kind of bulbous shape. So we shall see. I'm happy to have it. It did take a while to get here. Then I also got in the mail two lovely Peggy bags from Peggy Papas of uh, Peggy's Paranormal Ponderings on YouTube and Sparks Creations, I believe that's the name of it, on Etsy. I'll put them in the description field below. Two beautiful drawstring tarot bags. They said small, and I wasn't sure how small and whether these would accommodate regular decks. Let's just test one out. Oh. It actually does accommodate Carnival at the end of the world, so that's a regular size. And what else? Let's try a 
Low Scarabeo deck, probably because it's even smaller. Yes, perfect. How about the Deviant Moon Oracle? Abandoned Oracle. Yes. Success. Not sure about my... Might not be big enough for my White Witch. Because it's kind of a large box. Oh my goodness. Snugly, but it even holds my White Witch. Oh, I think my White Witch has found a home in a peggy bag. So I like this pattern. It is, I can't tell in this light, I think it's orange rather than pink with purple eggy sort of shapes or kiwi kind of shapes with little yellow seeds or centers. I love, love that pattern, fabric pattern. The other one is pink with little white spirals. I love spiral energies. Not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. But thrilled to have these two Peggy bags. And they came wrapped in lovely purple tissue paper with a thank you note. I think it's just a generic thank you note from the shop. Because I don't believe she knows my actual name. She knows my channel, Tarot, uh, Toadstool Tarot. But I don't know if she knows my real name because I don't don't use that on my YouTube channel. So anyway, um, yeah, happy to have have these bags and the uh, pendulum. And now we're going to do the drawing for the free giveaway to my subscribers. And I was going to wait till I had 22 requests because I have 22 sides to the die that I'm giving away along with the tarot bag or mini tarot bag, uh, pendulum bag, uh, dice bag, crystal bag, whatever. This won't hold a full size deck, but um, anyway, but I don't, I, I waited a week, almost two weeks, I think, and I've only had about 16 people subscribe. I mean, ask to enter the contest. So I'm just going to roll the die and see who we get. Who is our winner? And the number is 8, which, let me scroll down on my... Scroll down on the entries and see, count me count eight. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth entry is The Whispering Well, which is my dear friend and mentor, Sandra. What an interesting coincidence. So, Sandra, I already do have your address, so I will mail this out to you directly. And congratulations for winning the Thank You Subscribers draw. And um, I guess that's about it for now. See you all next time.